Monica and I want to wish you and those you love a very happy and holy Christmas. Now, Christmas is a, a great time for retelling the familiar story. You know, angels, shepherds, Mary, Joseph, and of course, the very heart of it, the Christ child. But for now, I want us to take a little step back from the events of Christmas and so we can reflect on the meaning of those events. And to help us do that, I want to read just a couple of verses from the New Testament letter to Titus, chapter 2, beginning at verse 11. For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impiety and worldly passions, and in the present age to live lives that are self-controlled, upright and godly, while we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great God and Saviour, Jesus Christ. That very first Christmas, something truly revolutionary was happening. God's grace was appearing in human form. You know, we seem to be living in a world that is becoming just that little bit less gracious. We are no longer easily able to disagree with charity. We are no longer easily able to let bygones be bygones. God's grace, though, is much more than indifference to sin or ignorance of evil. Instead of covering up wrongdoing, it covers it over by a life offered in sacrifice. And it brings salvation to people who know themselves to be broken and in need of forgiveness, which if you think about it for a while, means all of us. This Christmas, may you and those you love know the grace, the hope, and the glory of our great God and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.